Hi there, meteorologist Pamela Gardner. Well, the next several days, probability of precipitation will slowly go up. Today, we had just a few isolated showers and thunderstorms across the Cape and the islands. Otherwise, it was a hot and humid day, good beach day out there. Lots of boaters on the water. For tomorrow, still a pretty decent beach day, boating day, and fishing day, too. Whatever you have going on, all activities should be just fine. Just a 20% chance of a pop up shower or thunderstorm in the heat of the afternoon. And we'll be watching for those sea breeze boundaries to help trigger some of that convection. 60% chance for Friday as we see a bigger system moving into the forecast. Warm front and a triple point with an area of low pressure and then a cold front and that's going to trigger perhaps some strong, maybe isolated severe storms. Saturday goes down to 40% but it may be one of those murky days for us to start off the weekend. Sunday, Monday, much better forecast and no chance for rain either of those days, at least at this time. Here's the current weather analysis. We have humid conditions, area of low pressure just off the coast and a little bit of a weak boundary did trigger some of those showers and storms across the Cape and Islands. There's a cold front draped to our north and to our west. That's going to bring in the 20% chance for rain tomorrow. High temperatures today were much warmer than the last couple days. Back to that heat. 85 for the high in Boston, 86 in Fitchburg, and some communities did get close to 90 degrees. Tonight we're down to 72. Partly cloudy and once again humid. Tomorrow, temperatures just as hot in the upper 80s from Beverly to Boston and Nashua and nearing 90 degrees from Fitchburg to Worcester, a touch cooler, 84 degrees, but still very warm, very humid with the humidity factored in, by the way. It's going to feel like the low to mid 90s in most spots. Plymouth, 90 degrees. There is a brief chance of a pop up shower or a storm in the heat of the afternoon, again, primarily across those sea breeze boundaries. Cape and Islands, good day to be off there. It'll be nice and dry. Temperatures in the 80s there. Beach and boating forecast near 90 degrees. The water temp 69 to 77 degrees. That low tide just before 10 o'clock in the morning. Patriots versus the Eagles. Preseason game number two at Gillette Stadium. Tailgate forecast hot, humid, but we keep the rain chance away. Kickoff time 85 degrees in the fourth quarter, falling down to 76, staying very warm and muggy. Hour by hour forecast for Thursday. There's that cold front draped across the area. Kind of fizzles out as we get towards Friday, but it's enough to trigger that pop up shower or storm chance. Then Friday, we have this area of low pressure moving into the forecast. That's what's going to trigger those scattered, strong or severe storms. With heavy rainfall, the lightning, a little bit of hail, and perhaps some damaging wind gusts. Dew point temperatures stay elevated, upper 60s, low 70s for the next several days until a cold front sweeps through for late Saturday. Then dew points slowly start to decrease back in the low to mid. 60s and eventually some 50s as we get towards Sunday. Sunday, definitely the pick of the weekend as temperatures will be near 80 degrees with lower humidity. Here's your seven day forecast. More heat on the way as we get into next week. Monday 80, Tuesday 81. Humidity back in play too as we get towards Wednesday.